What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, I'm going to try out the new PlayStation 2 emulator for Android called MyPS2. MyPS2 app stands as a testament to the growing capabilities of mobile technology, allowing Android users to experience the nostalgic thrill of PlayStation 2, PS2 gaming on their devices. Just so you know, I've already made a couple of videos on PS2 emulation for Android, which you can check out as well. Today, I'll guide you through how to set up the My PS2 emulator, how to add games, adjust the best settings, and configure it for the best gaming experience. This is a complete tutorial, so make sure to watch the full video carefully. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. My PS2 emulator is specifically designed to replicate the PS2 gaming environment, enabling users to play classic titles without the need for the original physical discs or consoles. Before we begin, let me explain what you'll need. We will be using the My PS2 emulator Zarchiver, a file manager, and the PS2 games that you legally own. Let's start by downloading the My PS2 app to our Android phone. My PS2 is built from the EtherSX2 source code and is available on the Google Play Store. So, head over to the Play Store, download, and install the app. One advantage of My PS2 is that it doesn't require any BIOS files, unlike EtherSX2 or NetherSX2. All you need are the PlayStation 2 game files that you already own. Now let's launch the My PS2 app. When you open the emulator for the first time, it will ask for permission to send notifications. Just allow it. The emulator will show an empty white screen because no games have been added yet. To add games, click on Files. On the left side, you'll see the Games folder. Open it, click on the Upload button, then select File Local Copy. Navigate to the folder where your PS2 games are stored and select the game you want to play. Personally, I find the default settings a bit confusing, so we'll use Zarchiver to move the game files instead. Download and install Zarchiver from the Google Play Store. It's a free app. Navigate to the folder that contains your PS2 game files. In my case, the PS2 games are in a specific folder, but wherever your games are stored, make sure they are in ISO or CHD format, which is supported by this emulator. Select all the game files and use the cut or copy option. Then, navigate to your internal storage, find the Android folder, and open the data folder. Locate the My PS2 folder, then paste the game files into the games subfolder. It should only take a few seconds for the files to transfer. Once the games are copied, open the My PS2 emulator, and you should now see your PlayStation 2 games listed in the emulator's menu. Let's start a quick game. As you can see, the game launches smoothly in the My PS2 emulator. At the top, you'll find the settings option. Here, you can enable options like showing FPS, adding a D-pad and analog stick, and adjusting the screen ratio to either 16 by 9 or full screen stretch. You can also customize the UI. Next, click on the arrow beside Settings, then select Options. Here, you can choose between the OpenGL or Vulkan renderer. You can even set the resolution up to 8K, but I recommend sticking to 1080p, which provides great performance without too much strain. If you want to save your game's progress, there's a save state option available in the emulator. Overall, I'm a bit disappointed with this emulator because I faced quite a few issues during gameplay. The control customization is limited, and the interface is a bit annoying. However, the gaming performance is solid. I was able to get 60 FPS at 1080p and 30 FPS at 4K, which is impressive. You can also try Ether SX2 and Nether SX2, which are solid PS2 emulators. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. Join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.